Next, going to box mode, hitting Alt-1, and selecting this faces. Going to bottom view, this face, control left click. So selecting this faces, going to front view, hitting control C and control V. So we now have a new body. I'm going to pull this one down, hitting OK, and hitting Alt-3. But first, selecting body 10, hitting Alt-3, selecting body 9, Alt-3 to go to smooth mode. I'm going to rename body 9 to head, and body 10 to body. So body selected, I'm going to right click, select edit form, and pull this one down, hitting OK. Next, I'm going to select this round edges, so double left click, right click and select edit form. Going to front view, I'm going to hold my alt key and this arrow, pull this, pulling this one down. So notice we added a new material, release, holding out and pulling this arrow down and selecting this handle, holding out once more, selecting our scale handle, holding out once more. Selecting this handle, holding Alt once more, selecting this handle, holding Alt once more, selecting this handle, and hitting OK. Now this edge ring is currently selected. I'm going to right click and select fill hole. Now make sure that the option is reduce star and hit OK. Going back to front view and inspecting. Next, let's double click this edge. Holding control, double left click. And right click, select edit form. Now let's scale this one down. and hit OK. Next, let's create the arm. Going to right view and selecting this edge, double left click, right click and select insert edge. So the value to be negative 0.5, hitting OK. Now because we had a symmetry, it added an additional material here. So next, Going to right view once more, selecting this edge, right click and select insert edge, moving the slider down, positioning it here. So I'm going to key in negative 0.3 and hit OK. Going to front view and inspecting, let's reselect this edge, double left click, right click, select edit form. And scale this one down. Hitting OK. So I'm around 